Hello again, my name is Roland, I'm with Delmi Solutions and Delmi Training Institute. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how to terminate on a 110 loaded patch panel. Alright, so to get started, I need my cable stripper, our lineman scissors, or a cable wire cutter, an exacto knife. You're also going to need your 110 impact tool with a 110 blade couple of zip ties, a 12 port loaded patch panel, my cable extraction tool. Also you're going to need your bundle of cables that are coming in from the user end. To begin termination, I make sure I place my cables on the patch panel from where I'm going to start to terminate all the way to the end. It helps me to ensure that once my termination is done, I am not short on any of the cables that I brought in. I'm going to start terminating from my lower numbers all the way to my higher numbers. With my cable stripper, I'm going to strip my first cable. And what that does is it scores me the cable and I can strip the jacket off. I have to inspect to make sure there are no damages on it and because that is too long of a cable what I can do is I can cut the excess and take it off now if you want to terminate onto your first terminal block which is terminal block number one and you align your cable so that the jacket of your cable begins where the terminal block is once you terminate you're going to find out that the blue which is the farthest cable it's going to be longer than your brown so you always you want to make sure that your cable distribution from end to end is as even as possible so what i have to do is i have to bring my jacket right approximately into the middle of the terminal block and that will be approximately here this way I can distribute half of the cables here and I can distribute half of the cables here so my blue and orange or my blue and green depending on whatever termination standard that I'm conforming to and uh, has equal distance between the first two to my left and the last two to my right for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be doing the 5-6-A termination standard. And as you can see, I have my solid brown, white brown, my solid orange, white orange, my solid green, white green, and my solid blue, white blue. So the first thing I have to do is to make sure that my blue and green goes that way. My brown and orange would go that way. I'm going to keep my thumb on and on twist to prevent the twist from coming in rather going out that way because when you're doing your termination you want to make sure that you maintain whatever the twist that comes in so since I know that with the 568A designation the first group is my solid brown I'm going to keep my index finger on it and on twist counterclockwise and then I insert that so that is my first one the next one is going to be my solid orange and white orange I'm going to do the exact same thing I'm going to untwist and I put it on this way and I feed it now my next one is going to be my green pair I take that I put my index finger on it and I untwist and I feed it on and then finally I do that for my blue pair put it on untwisted and I feed it on so as you can see from my entry point I have approximate distribution of cables from the blue all the way to the brown and the distance from uh, almost equal this minimizes the amount of data that I'm going to lose when the same amount of data is transmitted at the same time now I'm going to do the exact same thing for my terminal block number two 
so with my scissors you can also just score on it as you can see I did not cut too deep once I twist it's going to break off and then I can again unstrip it and you want to check to make sure that there was no damage to your cable now I'm going to cut off this I'm going to separate the brown and orange and my blue and brown with my 110 punch tool set to the low settings I'm going to go ahead and start punching these ones down so as you can see as when I punch it cuts off without any issues every time you'd have to double punch or twist like that it's an indication that your blade might be getting dull it's time to replace it so I'm going to punch down this side as well and continue with my termination all right so as you can see I have a very nice termination on this side and on that side and my cables have been distributed evenly from my brown all the way to my blue and they are almost of equal distances from my entry point of the jacket so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna do same thing for number three So all my cables have been preloaded my first half so I'm going to start punching them down. Alright so as you can see my first set of cables have been terminated into the grooves. And you note that because I started terminating from my right, now I have enough room to terminate here. And then I don't have that bulkiness here because those are underneath it. And, and my newer cables are going to be this way. But if I brought my cables, if I brought my cables from here and started to terminate in the opposite direction, then this was the result of what I was going to get. But with this method, there's always a problem because you don't have adequate room to end up terminating these ones because now this is going to end up lying on it like so and it doesn't give you room to terminate your cables here. It's going to be very tight and most of the times when you try to terminate the cables on this side, the cables start to fall out. All right, so this is not the right way to get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with this. So now having loaded the second half, I'm going to All right, so folks, as you can see, my cables have been punched down on both ends. So I'm gonna go ahead now and 
feed my cable tie in. This way I can secure the top cable that I just bundled in from here. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side to try and hold everything in place. Making sure that I don't over tighten these cables. I'm going to cut off all the excess uh, cable tie that I have. And I'm going to do the exact same thing here. And now I can take off that. Alright, so let's say I made a mistake with these ones and I had to extract it and flip them this is what I was going to use. I was going to use my extraction tool, put it underneath here and just lift it up and it's going to end up extracting these cables out of it for me. So as you can see, my cables have been terminated on this patch panel and it's good to be loaded onto the front. Another option that you could dress this cable if you have it with the strain relievers is what I'm going to show you next. So I'm going to cut off my initial cable ties that I had on them to hold them in place. You could either use a cable zip tie or you could use um, Velcro. My preference would be Velcro. Alright, so now I'm going to dress the cables in a fashion assuming that I had my patch panel that came with a cable manager. So what this cable manager is it's a bracket that comes with your patch panel that allows you to dress the cables on to prevent the cables from from falling or from sagging so in order to do that i'm going to need a couple of my zip ties to get started with and then i'm going to end up pressing them up with my velcro now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take the cables in batches of two and i'll dress them nicely along my imaginary wire manager and I'm going to put a cable tie around these so I just prep it with my cable ties for now and then I'm almost done with it So now with my Velcro, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it around just to hold it in place. So I'll go ahead and cut off all my cable ties that I used in prepping. This is how my cable looks like once they've all been dressed up properly with my so this is another way that you can dress your cables properly if you have one of those wire managers that comes with the patch panel you can dress and you can neatly tie your cables to it it all depends on what you have sometimes when you dress them flat as they were and you zip tie to the patch panel you don't have room on the back of the rack or the cabinet to try and terminate it so it all depends on what situation that you end up finding yourself doing and also depends on the patch panel that you're working with so these are a few techniques that you need to know when you're working with patch panels when you dress them this way you don't have too much um, pressure on the patch panel and you can easily add cables as and when you need them all right folks so this brings us to yet the end of another tutorial on how to terminate onto a loaded patch panel 
using your 110 punch down tool. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please make sure to give us a like on Facebook, uh, follow us on Instagram at Delmi Training and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to be the first to be notified of any of our future videos, please make sure to turn on your notification. And if you have any questions or concerns on how to terminate onto this 110 loaded patch panel, we would love to hear from you. Please leave us a note in the comment section below. My name is Roland, I'm with Delmi Solutions and Delmi Training Institute. Thank you for watching and stay safe.